All right, so that didn't take long. I built it, probably finished it in about maybe, to be totally honest, maybe two hours. And that's not because it took me two hours to screw in the uh, four screws that you need to put on for the main wing and the, uh, I, can't, I can't remember if it's, uh, how many screws was this one? I think this is like three, maybe like five, five or six screws for the back. Um, it's not because of that. It's really just because I wanted to, it took, I took my time and really just fine tuned everything and uh, made sure everything was aligned. Um, that's really what took me the longest, putting the, you know, putting the electronics and um, figuring out which, which uh, servo plug went to where. Uh, other than that, this thing, if you, if you were just to count just the, the building part of it, uh, maybe half an hour. Uh, but any, in any case, this, uh, this plane, like I said, went together really well. Not a lot of things that I can even think of that caused me any issues whatsoever. Uh, just a nice, nice bird. Now, there's a couple things I did do. Um, I had mentioned before that I had gotten the uh, modified or the uh, the uh, the mod well at least what they say is a modified blade and it's this one right here and it's basically just longer than the stock one and then I also got the uh, metal spinner mm -hmm. as opposed to using the plastic one um, other than that everything is working I just need to uh, check on the throws make sure that that's all uh, according to what the manual says and uh, also the CG. Uh, let me show you what uh, this battery hatch looks like. I know you showed it before but this I put the uh, battery in it and uh, I just wanted to show you how tight it was. Uh, that's that's pretty tight and this this plane's got some weight to it for sure so this is gonna fly really well even in even in some wind. Um, what else? Oh, the one thing I also did with this, uh, with this canopy here is that that little latch that it uses, I don't know if you can see that, see that, um, basically what happens is that in time or who knows, maybe it could be the first time, uh, when you're turning that to lock the canopy into the fuselage, the uh, latch on the bottom seems to want to want to loosen up, and then it it won't it won't lock anymore. So uh, you'd have to tighten up the screw and kind of fiddle with it. So what I've done, even with my other plane, uh, the Blaze has exactly the same uh, locking mechanism. Is I actually just put glue um, on the uh, on this little plastic area here where where it screws on to the uh, to this to this part here I'm not sure what they call that but anyhow if you glue that together uh, making sure you don't glue it to the canopy itself uh, it should uh, it shouldn't loosen up on you uh, and, and then you know obviously you'll be able to take it off and on with no problem so that's uh, that's it that's I can't even say anything about this thing at all that uh, is bad whatsoever except for I can't put that on there by my with just one hand here anyhow yeah this this plane is just amazing um, haven't even flown it yet and I know it's gonna fly well because I've seen the videos and it should be really good but you know that's that's about it I, I think wait if there's one thing again I, that I did was put the sticker on because that damn graffiti like I showed you before and then I saw uh, let's see if I can do this. Um, okay. That's this, this marking right here. I'm not sure what the heck happened there. But other than that, uh, everything else was, was fine. Here's the uh, other side where I hooked up that servo linkage. Very nice. That's it. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just do a quick. Uh, um, I'll just show you what the plane looks like from all angles, and then end the video after that. So uh, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Will Nate 35 signing out. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like. Thank you.